Google Analytics has standard reports that show you important information about your business. But on the other side, Explorations is a tool that lets you see more data and use advanced methods that aren't in the standard reports. You can use Explorations to find answers to complicated questions and gain a deeper understanding of your customers' actions. Here you'll find different ways to explore and analyze data called exploration techniques. One of them is called Freeform. Another is funnel exploration, then path exploration, and there are also other options like segment overlap, cohort, and user lifetime. There's one more option called user explorer, but it cannot be used in the demo account for privacy reasons. So let's learn about these techniques that are supported by explorations. First, we have freeform exploration. Here, the freeform allows you to look at your data in a layout you're familiar with, similar to a spreadsheet. You can also use different ways to show the data, like bar charts, pie charts, line charts, scatter plots, and maps to show geographical data. Then we have cohort exploration. Here, the cohort analysis allows you to gain insights into the behavior and performance of group of users that have similar characteristics. And if you go to funnel exploration, it helps you see the steps people take to complete task on your website or application. This can help you make the user experience better and figure out which groups of people are performing well or not doing well. Then we have segment overlap. It allows you to see how different groups of users are related to each other. This technique can help you find new groups of users that have specific characteristics. The user explorer lets you look at the people who are a part of the groups you created or imported. You can also investigate the individual actions of users. And then we have path exploration, which allows you to see the different steps user take as they use your website or application. It helps you to visualize the user journey. And the user lifetime analysis allows you to examine the behavior and value of users over the entire time they are a customer. All right, so now let's click on freeform reports here to understand the exploration area in detail. Basically, an exploration area is made up of three parts. On the left side, you'll see a panel that allows you to choose what information you want to see in the exploration, such as dimensions, metrics, and segments. You can also choose the time period you want to examine in the variables panel. The second column is the tab settings panel that has various options which help you set up the tabs that you have selected. You can pick the method you want to use, add information from the variables panel, and change settings that are specific to the method you choose. And then this large space on the right side of the screen shows you the data you selected using the method you picked. This canvas can have multiple tabs, which allows you to use multiple techniques at once in a single exploration. For today's video, we'll be just focusing upon one of the techniques, let's say funnel exploration. So let me click on it and let's see how the funnel exploration technique looks like. And here I can see the funnel exploration report created by GA4. So on the left, you'll see these segments, US direct traffic, pay channels, mobile traffic and tablet traffic. So we can use this as a filter. I just need to move around from here to here. I just created the segment comparison, so it will just be shown for the United States. And similarly, I can create a new segment from this plus section. You have an option to create user segment, session segment, even segment, and all these other suggested segments as well. For example, let's say if I just want to look at the data for direct traffic, then I can move this direct traffic from variables to the tab settings. So I can now see the segment comparisons. First, we have first open visit for US segment, and then we have on the bottom, we have for direct traffic. And you can see the comparison, you know, how many number of users are coming from this specific device from mobile, and this is from United States versus how many number of people are coming from direct traffic on mobile. So that's the way to compare these metrics with different segments and I can remove it from here as well if I want to and just remove here. For the breakdown, we have this option here. So it says device breakdown, but I can change this to something else as well. Let's say I want to look at the breakdown of country. So I can just bring country from here to here and just remove device category first and bring country from here to here. So instead of device category, it will now break down the funnel into country. So now we can see how many number of users are coming from United States and Canada and India, we can see the completion rate against these countries. And for these steps, if you look at here, these are the steps that are already added by GA4 on this specific report. But if you don't want to look at a specific step, we can just click on the cross button and it will be removed from this step section. So you can create all these steps here and see the breakdown on this specific panel. And you can also apply a filter from this option here. So if you click on it, you have an option to apply any specific dimension, event name, country, and you can just select country let's say add contains united states then we can apply so now it will be filtered out to united states only the only difference here is like that was a segment breakdown but here we are filtering this out so if you want to look at multiple segments you can do this from this segment comparison option but if you just want to filter this out to a specific value let's say users coming from paid channels or google cpc or a specific facebook ads then you can apply filter and look at the data for that specific condition so we can also click here on the open funnel the difference here is a closed funnel 
only allows entry at the initial step while an open funnel allows entry at any point in the funnel process and you'll see the difference in the data collected on this graph here all right so that's on the funnel exploration technique but there's much more to do in this explore section than just this but that would be more on the advanced side and out of the scope for this beginner's tutorial video but one more thing before we conclude this when you're using exploration reports there's some limitations like each user can only make up to 200 individual explorations per property and also a maximum of 500 shared exploration can be created per property you can add up to 10 segments per exploration and you can use up to 10 filters per tab only by using explorations you can quickly made ad hoc queries easily change between techniques sort and analyze data focus on the most important information using filters and segments create new segments and groups share your findings with others who have access to the same google analytics property and export the data for use in the other programs 